for today, we are going to start on our collages. Um, there are quite a few materials you'll need for today. The first is a pre-cut circle. There are lots of different colors, hopefully, to choose from. And there will be a dotted line on the back. Um, that's important for later. You'll also need oil pastels, scissors, a glue stick, a pencil, and a square piece of paper. You can put all of those to the side except for your oil pastels and your circle. You're going to make sure to flip it over so that um, those lines are on the back. Then before we get started with the designs on the front, um, I like to flip it over and fold it along the lines so that I can see where the center is on the front. Um, if you're making a pattern where you want it to line up, um, you can go ahead and do that and you won't see it in the final design because we're going to cut it anyway. So now I know exactly where the center is. I'm going to put it flat and now I can start um, making my design. Um, I made mine using lots of different lines as inspiration. I made um, scallop lines or M lines zigzag lines and then this one like m and a dash line that i made up and then i went back and colored um all of those little m's in <laughs> and i made other shapes added other designs you can really do this however you like um and then when you are done you are going to very carefully cut along either the drawn lines that are on the back or on the folded lines. My drawn lines, I did them without ruler, so they're a little messed up, so I just decided to do it where I had folded it. So you're going to end up with four equal pieces. Like that. You can put the scissors and the pastels to the side as you are all done with those um, for now. You're gonna take the square piece of paper and the glue stick, the pencil. You need to write your name on the back of the square piece of paper along with your class number. And you can put the pencil to the side and decide how you want to arrange your circles. You can have them in so many different ways. It's totally up to you. The only requirement is that the straight side needs to be touching one of the edges. Um, so not the round curved side. Um, and if yours is sticking up a little bit like mine was, you can just push it down. So this is what we are kind of going for here. These are some inspirations. We're gonna put all of these together at the end um, and they're gonna make a collaborative pattern that everyone has. These are our three options when you are all done. 